Sasha the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my patrons and supporters and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. Today is December 25th. Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrate Christmas. And uh, 2020 sucked, okay? It was a horrible year. Uh, in America and around the world because of the awful pandemic but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully we'll have a much better healthier uh, year in 2021 I hope and I pray and uh, also it's the end of the year uh, for uh, Tesla delivers as well and as you know that Tesla always always like to push production uh, sales and deliveries uh, at the end of the year. They always have all kinds of incentives, but they have uh, the uh, referral uh, program that you can get a thousand free miles if you buy a Tesla using somebody's referral code. So make sure you use mine or anybody else's, doesn't matter, as long as you benefit from that. And yesterday I posted a video about a, a trip that I took recently uh, uh, in really, 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 really cold weather. Uh, and I give you a lot of uh, tips. I will put the link above me. <coughs> Excuse me, if you want to watch the whole thing, uh, it'll be great. But I, I want to reiterate a few uh, tips that I can give you because I got a lot of questions, good questions, uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, how to drive your Tesla car. So now, Tesla, not all Teslas are created equal. Uh, Tesla Model Y and the 2021 Tesla Model 3 have something that no Tesla before it has, and that is the uh, heat pump, which draws heat from the air, from the motors and put it into the cabin, thus uh, making Tesla car very efficient, uh, especially in uh, cold weather. Having said that, having said that. Uh, my Tesla Model Y performance in very cold weather, we had like 27 degrees, was about 72%. In other words, for every 100 miles, I got 72 real world miles. So loss of about 28%. Now, why is that? If it's, it's supposed to be so efficient. First of all, so you know, and don't let anybody fool you, cars, any cars, uh, whether it's electric cars or gasoline cars lose a lot of range and for elect for gasoline cars is miles per gallon meaning you need more gasoline to travel the same amount of miles that you would have if it was a summertime because it takes a lot of uh, energy to heat the cabin and to propel the car forward in a cold weather so there's no difference between electric cars and uh, 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 gasoline cars uh, I remember my Ford Explorer back in the day to have a MPG of, I don't know, 22, let's say, miles per gallon, which is awful. In the winter, it was like 16 or 15. Really, really, you need a lot of gasoline. It's just the way it is, just the way it is. Uh, even my Chevy Volt, which is a plug-in hybrid, when I'm out of, a, out of a, a electric range, once it gets to gasoline, in the winter, it will give me maybe 35 miles per gallon which is fantastic but in the summer it will be 55 miles per gallon you 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 get the point in the in the winter my rated range on the uh chevy volt battery will show 35 uh, rated range uh of electric miles versus 55 in the summer so it, it is it is in all cars there's not, nothing new under the sun so what, what do you do with your Tesla cars or, or, or your plug-in hybrid cars? First of all, and I'll, I'll focus on the Tesla because Tesla has the longest range of all EVs. What I would say is this, it's very important to, uh, in a cold weather, and I'm talking about 32 degrees and below, zero degrees Celsius and below. It's very important to preheat the car while it's plugged in. And I found out in, in, in my Tesla uh, Model Y and Model 3 that it takes at least 45 minutes of driving to get the battery full warm and to enjoy a regenerative braking. It takes that much. So if you preheat the car while it's plugged for at least 20 minutes, at least, if you can do 30 minutes, do it. You can do it from your app while it's plugged in so you don't lose a, a battery capacity, do it. Let the car warm up, let the cabin warm up, especially if you are parked outside. Even if you park in the garage, that's the beauty of electric cars. There's no exhaust, so you're not 
releasing any fumes into the garage. So that's great, do that. That's step one. Step two, even if you are, let's say you forgot to preheat your car or whatever it is, always make sure whatever your daily driving is or whatever you, uh, your um, a, uh, long, a long range trip is, always make sure to charge 100% more than what you need. So if your daily drive in the winter is 50 miles a day, make sure you have at least 100 miles, twice as much. If you, if you take a trip and your next supercharger uh, is 100 miles away, charge for 200. If it's 200, charge to capacity. Why am I saying that? It's not that you're not gonna make it to your destination, but if you want to enjoy regular driving, meaning highway speeds, put the heat on, use the instrument, drive, you know, nice uh, 10 miles above speed limit, that's how much range you want more than what you need. Because if you need 100 miles and you charge to 120, 130 miles, you will make it, but you'll have to slow down, you will have to turn off the heat, unless unless you can stop in between and you don't want to do too many stops. So in order for you to have comfortable rides, comfortable, without any compromise, make sure you have 100% more than what you need. Again, 50 charged to 100, 100 charged to 200. So you can have a nice, smooth, comfortable ride. Now, obviously, if you if you are in a, in, a, in a situation that you are you forgot or whatever happened and you cannot make it, obviously slow down, you know, put your seat warmer, turn off the heat, maybe turn it on a little bit just to give it a little boost and then turn it off. You can, there's a lot of things you, you can use. I mean, speed, especially on the highway, is a huge, huge factor in reducing your, your uh, uh, range. Going up the hill like I am right now, is, is also but if you if you know where you're going and you know your way around and there's no nothing going on always make sure in the winter just like just like we are now to have a significant amount more charge than what you need just in case you need to do a re reroute let's say you know there is a, a detour something happened and you have to happen to me once in Georgia a huge accident on highway 95 stop it a huge accident on, on, on highway 95 in, in south georgia and i had to go like small roads and get into the border with florida happen happens stuff happen you just have to make sure that you have tremendous amount of buffer tremendous amount of buffer especially if you're carrying children uh, passengers luggage uh, and all that now, if you can avoid putting anything on your roof, like roof rails and tulip boxes, or if you can avoid that, do that because that is <laughs> range sucker, I will call it range sucker. And that, when you do that, no matter how much you charge your car, you will eventually have to slow down if you need to drive, let's say, 200 miles on any of your Tesla cars, any of them. So expect to lose between 20 to 40 percent of your real world range if you drive normal highway speeds using the heat uh, all the instruments in the winter that's why you want to overcharge the car significantly significantly and and you'll have comfortable right now you want to get a, a, a 90 percent efficiency uh, in your tesla model y or model 3 whatever uh, then you know you can be more uh, more uh, careful. You could be more conservative in the way you're driving, and you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to do that in the summertime. You will get over 90% of your range, no problem. And I got it in the moment. The Model Y is an awesome car, just amazing, awesome engineering, terrific efficiency, great range, awesome, awesome, awesome. But in the winter, it's a different ball game. And like I said to you at the beginning of this video, it's different ball game. No matter what car you're driving, gasoline cars or, or electric cars. So you just have to be prepared. What and why is that? Because in gasoline car, you run out of gas. There's gas stations all over the place. In with electric cars, if you drive a, a, a long distance, in, you know you need to know where where your next destination. So because you're limited, and it takes time to charge the car. 
So you want to do, you want to be careful, you want to make sure. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.